Hello, uh, my name is Dawson Richard, and uh, this is my first vlog for uh, TE150's GLP project. So uh, here we go. Um, my partner that I chose is also my roommate, so it made it really easy to get an interview. Well, I don't want to say an interview, but um, get a meeting with him. Um, and, you know, I learned quite a bit, and uh, I think he learned quite a bit, and we really enjoyed our talk together, and we learned, like, a lot about each other. We didn't really know much about each other, even though we were living together. So this was kind of a really good experience for me, and uh, I'm just here to share with you what I learned and some things that I saw were interesting. And uh, so today I'm going to be talking about some similarities and differences between... Um, like a typical day at his high school and my high school and uh, along with uh, some content differences between our classes and uh, other different kind of reactions to these similarities and differences. Um, so talking with him, I got some information as far as what his high school was like. Um, he told me that he went to a fairly large high school around 200 kids um, in his class, which I thought was interesting because I don't consider my high school large at all, but we had around 320 kids in my class. So there's kind of a, you know, a large difference there that I wonder if that's like something that can exemplify the class difference between all high schools here and in China. But um, I don't want to make that, um, judgment off of just one case so um he also went into quite detail about the leniency that his school offered um unlike my high school he was allowed to do quite a bit of what he wanted to do throughout the school day as long as like he got his class stuff done but for me i didn't do anything that was not allowed by the class um itself so you know, I think that a less structured approach to high school can be both beneficial and negative at the same time. I mean, it could either um, enforce students to, you know, be more energized in the classroom and, you know, produce more uh, thoughtful work, or, or at the same time, you know, it can, you know, cause students to be distracted or, you know, not want to... Uh, produce any kind of work. So, you know, it's kind of like a double-edged sword, but uh, I thought it was an interesting idea. You know, rather than having kids sit all day in their classrooms doing, you know, classwork specific to each class, um, letting kids have a little bit of freedom can be quite fruitful. Um, so I talked to him about uh, what his standard school day was like, and uh, he told me he hung out with his friends quite a bit, which I thought was cool. Um, you know, everybody has their friends who they like to hang out with. But uh, he he uh, actually learned to play basketball because of his friends, which was pretty uh, awesome because it's something that's so important to him now. It's something that he does a lot and uh, thoroughly enjoys. And, you know, in my opinion, things are always, you know, more fun when you're doing them with people that you um, enjoy to be around. So, um I asked him about, you know, like, other than playing basketball, what other kind of activities that him and his friends would uh, participate in. And he told me that uh, a lot of times they went out to eat and they went out to movies and stuff like that. And I thought that was pretty cool because, like, in my high school, we did the same thing. After football games, we'd go and we'd go to Applebee's and we'd eat um, and talk about the game and, you know, laugh and have some fun. And then it was always a good memory for me. Um, we also talked about, uh, how he felt during classes and like, you know, how the, uh, difficulty level was. And he told me that he actually slept quite a bit during classes, which I thought was funny because I did the same exact thing. So, you know, when, uh, he apparently said that his classes were not challenging at all and that, um, they were fairly easy, which can be a problem because that does make students not want to participate if, you know, they feel like it's something that there there's nothing to get out of it, then they're not going to want to, um, 
you know, put in any effort. Um, he actually told me that his school didn't even offer any like tests. So like the SAT and stuff like that, he had to go to separate classes off his school campus in order to uh, study for them and, you know, get ready to take these tests that are really important for each student. And I thought that was kind of crazy that a school wouldn't offer that. But uh, he just kind of played it off like it was normal. And I, I don't know, my school, we offered SAT prep and all these different kind of classes to prepare students. Like that was the end game. Like that was the goal. But for him, it was different. And um, I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, so we also talked about um, what he thought an American classroom would look like while he was in China. So before he came here and started studying here at State, um, I asked him what he thought an American classroom looked like, and he said uh, from the movies, and that he thought that uh, the cliche movie stereotype is what high school's like here. And, you know, I kind of laughed, and then I thought about it, and I was like, he's kind of right. I mean, it is, they do kind of hit it spot on. Um, I asked him how he felt about, like, um, in his school, were there different small groups, like cliques of people um, based on, you know, what they like to do or their personality traits. And um, he said much like here, you know, they, that is how people separate and segregate in small groups. And, uh, you know, it just kind of is a testament to no matter where you are, society is kind of generalized in the same t context that we like to be around people who we find are similar to ourselves. And, you know, and I thought that was really interesting and a cool, um, cool aspect of education. Um, I, uh, overall, I thought that, uh, you know, our high school experiences were pretty similar. And uh, that really surprised me because prior to talking with him, I really did not know much about um, Chinese high schools. I didn't know about their structure. I didn't know about what it was like to be a student there. And um, it really surprised me. One thing he told me was that a lot of students out of his class were actually uh, going and studying abroad, which is something in my high school that we didn't really do that much. We had students come, but we never really sent students out that often. And uh, having a high school with the capabilities of sending students overseas is kind of amazing and an experience that students would never forget and something that I kind of envy myself, something that I would have definitely wanted to participate in, but uh, no, that's pretty much uh, all we talked about. Um, it was really fun learning about, you know, his high school life and uh, maybe uh, next time I'll have to talk to him in more in depth. Thank you.